Uh, a big difference, you know, but uh, this is the biggest line you're going to see here. And Frontier's even almost getting back to normal where you have this set in. But here's where you're, you're experiencing the problem now, right? Are those folks who had these flights on a Frontier or maybe an Allegiant or maybe a Spirit? Because unlike some of the bigger airlines who will get you on one of the next flights, some of these folks won't have a flight until tomorrow or later on tonight. Or some only fly out once, so they've missed it all together. Uh, this is what people don't understand. You're flying with family. You have it set up. You guys were set to leave, and now you are hearing what? Um, our flight was canceled, and we can't leave until tomorrow. We won't get into Denver till 8 p.m., so we're not going. And that's just it, right? You had these whole plans. You had it set up. And has it been okay? Like, how is it contacting folks or information being relayed? It's terrible. No, uh, just nobody. We're getting 20 different answers. So it's just terrible. And that's the thing, the 20 different answers. I spoke to one family who said that they've had four different itineraries when they've uh, tried to get an answer to where they were going. I spoke with one gentleman in Spirit where he was scheduled to fly out with his daughter, but now there's only one flight tonight at 1030. The only problem is because there's no one at the counters, there's no one to talk to. So that's the problem. It's just a trickle down effect, right? When you see everything happening, even though it looks smooth and everything is running, the folks who are affected are those who had those flights already pre-scheduled from last night coming into today you're starting to see it slowly come in and i think right now the unfortunately the ones that are most affected as i mentioned those smaller airlines allegiant uh frontier spirit because they don't have that turnaround like yeah. some of the bigger airlines mm -hmm. do oh and it's such a hassle to have to leave the airport you gotta go find an uber again you gotta go get your car again and oh so my much. gosh Hopefully well, in here, yeah, the, here, there's folks from Toronto. Well, there's people from Toronto who had to get their luggage back from Carousel, and there's no place to eat here in Terminal 3. They'd uh -huh. have to take the SkyTrain with all yeah. their luggage over to 4, mm -hmm. yeah. grab something to eat, and then make it all the way back. Yeah. And if you're traveling with little ones... Oh, yeah. A whole other story. Hard. Oh, yeah. can't uh -huh. even imagine. All right, Gibby, thank you for that.